beneath the tree of life, the cross of Christ. The sign of God's unveiled love for us and for the whole creation. We come to hear God's promise to pardon, strengthen, and heal us. We come to pray for the healing of the nation. For the healing of our own lives and communities. There will be a time in the service when you may come forward to the cross and you may stand to pray, light a candle, and remain as long as you desire. The lights are kept dim tonight because of the meditative and subdued nature of our service. And our service will end. I ask you to please stand. Blessed be God, who forgives our sins, heals every illness, saves us from death, enfolds us with tender care, and crowns us with steadfast love. Amen. Now we'll sing our opening hymn, In the Cross. We're going to sing verse 2 only. Let us pray. Holy God, when Jesus was lifted upon the tree, he drew all things to himself. Gather us now within the arms of your mercy and fill us with your wisdom and compassion as we await Christ's coming again. Amen. And we will pause for a moment of silence as we clear our minds. I invite you to please sit for the word. From Genesis chapter 1, we hear, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. There were no boundaries. We were one planet, one people. People had not yet divided up. The earth was one. A reading from Genesis 17. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said, I am God Almighty, walk before me and be blameless. And I will make my covenant between me and you. And I will make you exceedingly numerous. Then Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. For I have made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations 
for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and for your offspring after you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God blessed Abraham. He blessed Sarah too. We didn't hear about Sarah's in this reading, but they were going to be the ancestors of many nations. Several faiths trace their roots back to Abraham. Abraham was blessed in order to be a blessing to others. He said, many nations. And we also are blessed in order to be a blessing to others. Remember the commandment that we hear from Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Go therefore and make disciples, teaching them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so we are called to to be a blessing to others, to bring the word of God to all nations. Right now, at this point in time, the whole world is engaged in a struggle with COVID-19. There's nowhere in the world that you can go that this struggle does not go on. You think, I'd like to hide from it. I'd like to get away. Where could I go? Well, it's reportedly everywhere. And so as a whole, we the earth have to realize we've got to work together to get rid of this disease. There are other struggles that go on too that we have in common and things like war and uh, pestilence, hunger, world hunger is definitely one of the things that we have in common on our earth. So we are much better off when we work together with one another and share the good news of Jesus Christ. And now we pause for a moment of silence. Let us name before God the nations of the world, pleading for mercy and healing, especially in this time of COVID. We will pray for all places and all people torn by ancient animosities and troubles that we don't understand, terrorized by new fears, devastated by drought or disease, crushed by poverty, oppression, war, and those consumed by power, wealth, and greed. And as we sing our litany, the healing of the nations, our response is peace be yours. And so we will continue that. Uh, Katie and Sandy are leading us. And we will be joining Katie, at, or whoever's singing the peace be, with, peace be yours, we will join in that undertone there. So this is in your bulletin as we follow along. As we sing, you're invited to come and light a candle or two or three and say a prayer Stay as long as you want here. There's no rush. There's no big hurry. Bangladesh and India Peace be yours Taiwan and China Peace be yours Japan and Hong Kong Peace be yours
They bring our many prayers into one light. Let us pray. Dear gracious and merciful O God, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, you draw near to those who call upon you, crying out from their hearts. Hear our cries, receive our prayers, especially those prayers nearest and dearest to our hearts, and fill us with your blessings and your whole creation.